And what I've had done here is the electrician has come out and has uh, given me a plug-in here right off the after the meter. And what it does, it goes into this panel and we need to make this safe and uh, for any type of utility workers. So there are two ways to really power devices with a, a standby power. One is directly powering, meaning that I take an extension cord or plug the device directly into the generator because it has receptacles on it. Uh, so that's one, that's a direct method. It's, it's simple, it's easy. If I wanted to keep my refrigerator or my uh, freezer from, from defrosting or thawing out in a power outage, that is an easy way to go. The second way to do is what we have right here is we run this cord from the generator and we go in and basically we're using the house wiring to power the devices that, that need to uh, get power. What you have to do to ensure safety is have a disconnect. So I don't want to uh, electrocute or cause harm to any of the utility workers while they're trying to get the, the power back online. So what we have here is a manual interlock. So this breaker in the very top left is what's hooked to this receptacle here that is hooked to the generator. So I cannot turn that, that breaker on and allow power to go into the building. The reason is, is because we have a special interlock here and we have this little device right here that prevents that breaker from being switched on to allow power into my house. So what has to be done first is this top main, it's a 200 amp breaker, has to first be turned off and then this manual switch can be bypassed or, or moved up and allow that breaker to turn on and allow power from the generator. That's called an interlock and it prevents any type or any mistake of me accidentally back powering onto the electrical grid. Uh, next thing, now before I ever apply load to this, I start my generator I make sure that it evens out and make sure that it's all warmed up and then I plug in the generator. I will switch this over and I want to be careful that I'm not just powering on everything in the house all at once. So what we do is we individually turn on the large item first, our largest items first. So for me, what I would do, I would turn on uh, my refrigerator and freezer and then I would turn on the furnace if it's winter time and a few lights and that's all I really care about because I don't have a huge generator to power everything in my house so I have to selectively choose and that's part of choosing what size generator to actually use. So <laughs>